So here today, we're gonna talk about the bare basics, uh, mechanics and operation of the dog proof trap. Uh, this is actual a, do a Duke dog proof trap. They're very, there's quite a few uh, different styles and, and different brands. Uh, this particular one is a pole only. Uh, like I said, Duke dog proof trap. We've got um, the chain here. We have a swivel, uh, an inline swivel, one on the end and one at the base. Um, of the spike. Uh, one thing I want to stress, swivels are important. This is what keeps the animal moving freely. It keeps the trap from binding up. Therefore, it's designed for the comfort um, of the animal and make sure that you're not going to lose that animal in any way. Uh, like I said, this is the spike. Um, this is the thing that would be shoving down into the ground to keep this thing propped up. Uh, they're pretty simple. You know, it doesn't take much to get them, you know, down to ground level. Uh, which you know we'll put them right in the trail but that'll be for a different video uh, we've got our trigger here you guys can see that little notch right there that is what the dog the tip of here is going to be going into when we compress the spring so when this is compressed the dog comes down lowers into that slot of the trigger which you can see on the inside when pulled we'll set that trap off so we'll go ahead and go through the process now. Uh, we'll compress that spring and you can see the inside of that moving back. We'll take that dog, we'll push it down, put it right in that slot and that trap is set and ready to go. Uh, pretty simple. These traps um, are phenomenal uh, for beginners. In my opinion, they're the best trap that you're gonna find for a beginner, especially a young beginner. Uh, because the risk of potentially snapping yourself is very, very minimal. Um, also, here in a second, I'm going to show you how to set these with a tool. So, so I just went through the process of setting this. Um, having that hand strength uh, to be able to do that um, just solely with your hands is something that's kind of a, you know, you have to build yourself up to. Uh, it doesn't really matter your size or if you work out or not. Uh, that's something that's hard to do for people that just start off. Uh, but to set this without it, um, they make a setting tool which I don't have currently, but this will act the same thing. All it is is leverage. You wanna put whatever it is you're using behind the bar that the trigger's on and push down to lower that in there. See how easy that is? It's just a leverage factor. Uh, pretty simple, um, real easy way to set them. Uh, and I'll show you one other real quick way here that's even easier, especially for kids. So this was just shown to me a little while ago, uh, you know, talking about leverage um, and such. It's a lot easier if you, on a hard surface, you can put the springs on the ground, push down on the tube, and you can put a piece of PVC or something in there to hold that in place. And now that trap, you've gotten past that breaking point where it's really hard to push. Now uh, there's not much pressure here at all versus when it was fully extended, that's when there's a lot of pressure. So it's a lot easier to set now, um, just for those people that, uh, see, you've put that trigger up and it shoots it right out. So um, those are just a couple ways to set these things. Great tools, really good on raccoons, possum, and skunk. Uh, one thing I will say for sure though, um, just because these things are called dog proofs, it is kind of a false statement. Uh, never assume there's an always in trapping. Uh, you know, you still got to be careful where you set these traps. Um, but overall, they're a great trap and uh, definitely great for beginners, especially the young ones, because uh, the odds of you getting pinched are extremely slim.